coming up on this episode. These two guys have just come to Bird Island because they are going to help us with those big bags, the twins, the dangerous cabin crusher ones. Wow. And then while he's up there, he'll swing you onto the other tree, from the tree, and then set another line while he's up there, and so he's only got one climb to be oh. able to put it up there. So <laughs> he'll have wow. his morning work cut out for him. Oh. All right, everybody ready? Everybody's ready. Saying it though. have guests coming and so they are the gentlemen that will be taking down our trees so that we are all safe. So we've unfurled the air mattresses. One is a little bit wet from the rain and we're charging up the Blue Eddy so that they have power and we're giving them a camp stove. So I hope they'll be comfortable back here but we don't have really any other place for them right now. So. We're hoping that it'll be a fun night. It'll be one of adventure, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think I realized how much the trees were changing. I haven't really stopped to look, but my goodness, they're changing colors and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh-oh, I can hear the rain. These two guys have just come to Bird Island because they are going to help us with those big bad trees that we've been talking about, the twins, the dangerous cabin crusher ones, and that's Alan and that's Jeremy. Ryan is just telling them how the incinerator toilet works. <laughs> I mean, we need to know these things. So it's early, early, early in the morning and I'm going to make some pancakes this morning for our fallers, for our guest fallers that are here to take down these trees. It's actually a beautiful day, but it's been such a rainy night and I have so many layers of clothes on right now just to keep warm. <laughs> Brr, it's a bit chilly. We'll feed those boys so that um, they can go out and have a good morning. It's a bit chilly in here, but um, it's 12 degrees. Oh no, I see them coming. And I'm not ready. Ah. Well, look who's coming in this morning. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good morning. How was your night? It was a night. <laughs> it was pretty good. These are our fallers. Now, I know last week I was reprimanded and I was told that it was fellers, but we're from Canada, so I think it's fallers. It's fallers here, isn't it, gentlemen? Yeah. yeah. Where, where two fellers come to do the falling? <laughs> Okay, here we go. So they're just getting ready, all outfitted. All right, Alan, what's the plan for today? Well, we've got these two trees we want to take down here and they're unfortunately leaning towards the cabin. <laughs> the wind's not helping us today. So I've got Jeremy who's gonna go up the one tree and set a line up in the tree for us so that we can use some block and tackle to pull it over. Oh wow. And while he's up there, he'll swing it onto the other tree, from the tree, and then set another line while he's up there and so he's only got one climb to be oh. able to put it up there. So he'll have wow. his morning work cut out for him oh. to get that and then oh. we'll be able to pull them in a very controlled manner. First is there's a couple of dead trees 
that are in the path of where these are gonna fall. Yes. So I'm gonna go and knock those down okay. now, and then we'll get some all our lines set up to follow these two big ones. Okay, way to go. Here goes. Okay, so it started. The work has begun on these scary boys or as they called them, <laughs> the sisters. <laughs> so we've got two different vantage points, but either way, they're heading. See, oh. Okay, one's already gone down <laughs> behind there. And there's Jeremy. I mean, he literally looks like a woodpecker up there from afar, climbing away there. This is impressive stuff, you guys. Whoa. What a team these two make. Okay, Ryan, what do you think of today? I think this is exciting. We're gonna get a lot of stuff done in a very short amount of time. And uh, we just, our job is just to stay ahead of these guys because they're moving pretty quick. That big tree behind there is gonna go. That one right there. There's just no way Ryan would have been able to do that one. And he was gonna head up there. <laughs> <laughs> on his own and try and do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at how much further he's gotten. Oh. <laughs> What's that? A baseball? That just came out of the woods. That's hilarious. Amazing what you find in the <laughs> Out in the wilderness, we're only the moose and bear play. Oh, exactly. That's funny. Wow, look at that, eh? Wow, we. It's up there, we. Oh. Oh, it's up there. It's growing up there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Plenty high enough. Okay. Wow, okay. That's a 75 foot tree. Look at Jeremy up there. He's having the time of his life. He's absolutely fearless. I'm so glad that we decided to bring in the professionals for this job. How's he gonna swing from one tree to the other? <laughs> He's gonna put his line up around a branch, then descend on, on two lines. Mm -hmm. So he'll be sitting in kind of like a swing. Okay. And he'll go down probably 20, 25 feet. And then he'll be able to kick out from the tree he's in grab a branch in the other tree and pull himself over. That is incredible. Oh my goodness, he's a brave young man. Well, it's, it's once you pass 20 feet, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. She, 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 she. I'm just gonna tie a rigging line on for him so he can set a line before he moves into the other tree. Right. He's gone up a long ways. 75 feet high, that tree is. Everything seems to have really worked out well for weather. Yep. You wouldn't want to be out there in the rain, would you? Well, I was thinking about that in the middle of the night, listening to it pound down on the tent. Yeah, there's no way. Did they screw up on the forecast? <laughs> they don't have a miserable day today? Yeah, I mean, it's chilly, but hopefully it'll get a bit warmer too. No, this is perfect. Is it okay for you? Because you guys get so hot, eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're right. Sweating pretty quick. You want me to tie another piece of line on there so I can help pull you across? It's not very far. Okay. It'll be okay. Okay, so you know what he's going to do now? He is actually going to jump from one tree to the other on a line. It's all very, they've got safety lines for him and stuff, but it's um, still, you know, he's only 19 and he's just so brave. His dad's well, trained him well. Yeah, a matter of trust your deer. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, he's checking that out. He's checking to make sure that you can. All right, is everybody ready? Everybody's ready. 
saying a prayer. <gasps> okay. What a monkey! That's why I got him to do that, and I'm not up there. I have to come down another 10 feet. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> I just don't have the upper body strength anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Wow. Bringing these fallers to our island is a big deal for us. Yes, I wrestled with the idea of trying to do it on my own. But in the end, I'm not a faller, and it just wouldn't have been safe. While researching a few options in this area, we found this professional father and son team. They came highly recommended and were willing to make the trip out here. Not only that, they're super nice people and are bona fide experts at what they do. I'll tell you, that young guy's had a good upbringing. Yeah, he's a very, very nice young man. Yeah, super polite and just like so focused. I mean, I'm more impressed with that. <laughs> Mind you, this is incredible. Look at that tree. Suddenly all naked like that, it doesn't look quite as looming, does no, it? it doesn't. I'm like, I'll take you down now. Yeah? You want a piece of me? I'll take you down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is no way I would have known the right way to do this. This type of thing goes way beyond my normal MacGyvering capabilities. It would have crossed far into the realm of reckless stupidity to even attempt taking these trees down myself. And I was just hanging, just kind of hanging midair. Oh, oh, hanging again. <laughs> now he's gonna just come down. Wow, what an exciting lifestyle for a young man. Just imagine the view he has from up there. Okay. I think he's gonna come down now. Oh, that's a new job. Now comes the fun part. Now he can just come down on a, it's called a figure eight descender. It just gives him enough friction that he can just slide out of the tree on the rope. Really? Like you've seen people rappel. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what that is. It's a, so he'll come down pretty quick once he gets organized there. Oh, how cool. And he just comes down, just like he's rock climbing. Yeah. Got a stub on the back side. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, good to know, eh? Yeah. The loop, the yeah. Slip line gets hung up. Oh, Other stub. <laughs> he loves it, eh? Yeah. Fun. They say you can always tell how skilled a person is by how easy they make their work look. Jeremy looks like he was born in a tree. It's a pretty good adrenaline rush. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it would be Makes fun. Forget all about a sore back. Oh.
and he's got a sore back too. I forgot to mention that part. Oh. Very good. Woohoo! Back on ground. Good job. These two big bad twins are leaning towards the cabin. So they require these safety lines to stop them from crushing our beloved bird nest. Jeremy has tied these lines near the top third of both trees and together with Alan, they will now attach them to pulley blocks and apply tension in order to bend them away from the cabin and direct the fall safely into the forest. Did you see how far the, the, we got the top pulled over there when uh, we put the rope on it? And we used it the, started to really pull it, eh? Yeah, we got a lots of tension on that rope now. Oh, that's great. So it pretty much guarantees that it's going to go where we want it to. Oh, that's fabulous. Because it was leaning a ways, wasn't it? It was leaning to, yeah, it was maybe a couple of degree lean towards the cabin and the wind is not helping. Yeah, yeah, a little too close. Well. Be on the safe side and with one climb we can tie off two trees. So. Nice. How was that for you? Was that fun up there? Oh yeah. That's why I do it. Yeah. <laughs> and now the view from up there. Something just, else. Just beautiful, eh? Wish I took my phone up there. Oh. I always forget to do that, but it's one of those things that uh, will be in my memory forever. So. Oh that's great. I'm glad. Yeah. Pictures never do it justice either. No, no, they don't. No. Nice job. Oh, here we go. Are we going? Are we going? Is this it? Yeah. We'll do a couple cuts and then yeah, it'll go over. Oh my. Wow. I'm gonna move back so I can get a better view. Yeah. We've waited for this day for a while and he's got enough leverage where he thinks it's just going to be able to go where he wants it to. So that's great. These guys are experts. It's probably not interested in coming out of there itself. It's been happy, but just too dangerous really. Putting the wedges in. So what they're doing right now is pre-tensioning the line with this block. And there's the block, pulley block. And they're yarding on that. And the idea is to apply a little bit of lean to the top of that tree to get it started in the right direction. Okay. 
That was quite something seeing you jump from tree to tree. Oh yeah, that's the fun part. I guess so. Yeah. So you got a little bit of pretension on there? A little bit of pretension, yeah. I probably got 500 pounds or something like that. Wow. Okay, so I guess we're doing the second tree now. Boy, that's gonna look different without that tree there. That one is tied off there in the back. You can see that line that's pulling it into the woods. Just as long as it doesn't spin around and, and buck up from the bottom. That's what always worries me. But well, he's really watchful. And he's an expert. <gasps> there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Whoa! Whoa! My goodness, it's gone, it's done. That just went to sleep, it just laid back so gently. Remember Alvin, our wood chipper? Well, it seems we got him working just in time. There's going to be a ton of branches and other tree shrapnel to clean up by the time these men are finished their work today. Hey, Alan, which way do you think you should uh, drop that tree? Which way do you want it? I think it's probably straight up and down. I can do whatever I want with it. Do you want it to come? Would it be okay to come this way? Yeah. Then I could pull it out easier. Yeah, for sure. Or, because that way we might hit the shelter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might as well just make a big mess in this one spot here. That's a good idea. <laughs> might as well make a big mess in this one spot. Must be satisfying, eh? Yeah, with well, everything all lays out nicely and it's nice and ordered. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move this now so that they can take the trees out. My greenhouse has gotta move. Oh dear. We're safe from those two. So he said the balsam wood really smells badly. And that this here is spruce. And this is what most of your lumber that you'll find in like Home Depot or something would be made of. So we'll be milling these pieces. And they're big too. <laughs> Now there's a couple more there, like we need to put the array here. So there's a few more that are gonna need to come down just so that we don't run the risk of having them any fall on top of the array. We just don't ever want that to happen. Really nice day for this. A beautiful autumn day. It is autumn because we've had the first day of autumn now. I feel like that little cabin is safer today. You know, those trees are always just looming and there's a couple more we're gonna have to talk about because we just don't want like that one there, for instance. <laughs> so what happened over there? What's the decision? Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, is it ever? What about all those though? Well, we're that gonna... would fall back on the array, do you think? Timber! <laughs> but what about those big ones, honey, to the big right? Ones? Yeah. We're gonna get them from the shop side. Yeah, and then you're gonna be in pretty good shape for the array, aren't you? Yeah, we're gonna get those big ones on the shop side. I might have to take a couple more down here. These are nice ones. These are little cute ones that will just grow. I think we should just leave them. I'm just worried about the sun impacting them though. Oh. Or the, the thin fuzzy tree. That's a tremendous relief journey to have those two trees. It really is. 
Yeah. yeah. It really is. Watching them sway every wind just made us go, oh no. This is our last night on the island. <laughs> this is a really, really, really tall, tall tree. That's the cabin. I'll tell you one thing, I for one would be super nervous tackling this tree so close to the tiny cabin. But Alan, he doesn't seem concerned in the least. He'll pick a spot and drop it right in there. Now that is a thing of beauty. Oh, that thing was just standing just moments ago, and now it's gone. It's gone now. It's firewood or a saw log. That's right. You have to probably um, sharpen those teeth every day. I, well, it really depends. Probably every day, yes. Every you time know, you use it, if you're, yeah. But, you know, sometimes you get into a situation where you're cutting into rocks and nails right various different things in a tree and so yeah sometimes you're so, you're filing a lot more than you would like in a day right yeah so it's sometimes more than once yeah. these roots here were just cut like right through so it could have been a problem couldn't it have yep yeah i think with the cabin being there yeah the roadway and it's just going to get beat up more exactly it tends to be what happens with roadside trees it's nice to have little you know, trees covering the roads, but then I guess tree covering the road now. Now we have a, a lovely big one there. <laughs> How are, you're gonna have to come all the way through the other end, I guess, eh? I'm not sure. Pulled. I think we'll buck it up and I'll just drag the pieces out. Yeah. Okay, we can go just around. clean it up pretty quick. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to cut yes. it about 18 feet then? Is that what the. Well, this one may be 16. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So do you measure them or do you just know? I'll just pace it. Pace it. Oh, it's usually within about a foot. Okay, very good. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> a baby saw. Cute. So this is what it's like to clean up a tree. Okay, so that is a tree right there that yeah Ryan pulled out and then he tried to replant it because he knew that it you know wasn't doing very well but now we're gonna get these guys to take it down <laughs> but I don't think they're going to <laughs> yeah the pros the pros have got to step in for this one <laughs> this is Charlie Brown's tree here <laughs> oh boy it's just so much fun to watch go down. Look at them, that was a big one. Wow. I don't know about you, but for me, watching Alan is like watching an artist. It's kind of mesmerizing. There's just a nice little grove of trees there. A nice little grove. And that tree up there that's dead in between, that's the next one that's going. Timber, timber. You just, oh, I wanted to go that way. Go a little bit more that way. You make it look so easy. This is quite the education. Will it be easier to limb if I pull it out? 
Could be. Or are you, are you I'll just gonna... knock this down on oh. top and then we can okay. deal with them both. Oh. Oh my. down. You look like a manly man. Sure. You look like a manly man up there. <laughs> on my stump. <laughs> wow. It's a small stump though compared to the manly men back in the day. <laughs> yeah, the, the coast. They have a whole party up on top of the stump. Oh, wow. Thanks, sir. You can actually see the really nice little trees amongst it now. Look how much sun's here now. Because of those? Yeah. Cool. What did you find, Jeremy? Yeah, probably. I'll pull it up. Just some cool red coloring in the... In the wood? In the stump, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh! That's kind of neat. That is kind of neat. I wonder what that is. Here's where my greenhouse used to be. Now, you can get right through to where our solar array is probably going to be sitting which is in there and we just have to make sure that we've got enough sun coming in so i think we will have it i hope i am in awe rarely am i at a loss for words in just a couple of hours this morning these two gentlemen took a ton of trees down I would probably still be working on that first one, or dead from trying. So far, this day has been a total success. Bringing these guys in was the best decision we could have made, and I couldn't be happier. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.